Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. So, um, I didn't, I didn't put up a video yesterday, uh, not for lack of trying. Um, because I did that little, uh, little video on how, kind of basically how I learned how to play slide guitar. And I thought, if I'm going to do one of those, I should do one about harmonica playing, you know, and, uh, but harmonica playing is a much broader, uh, subject for me, so every video, I, I tried making, I tried making a video, it's like four times, I think, three times, um, I tried making videos three times, and, uh, you know, every time my phone would, would stop, you know, like, cause my, I just had, had too much to say <laughs> about, about the harmonica. So, um, first off, get a, get a dip here, and dip a couple of these fine ass Timberwolf pouches. Yeah, I like these pouches. They're good. They're, uh, they're everything a pouch should be to me. So, hmm. But yeah, so I was making these videos on being a harmonic player and, you know, how it all happened and what happened and where it happened and all that, all that stuff. And uh, I'm going to have to break it up into at least two videos, <laughs> you know. Um, I kind of wrote out an outline for my my pre, my, my be beginner to... Uh, moving before moving to Peterborough, uh, there's I got a section on that, and then I have a section on my experiences uh, playing in bands in Peterborough throughout the '90s and the 2000s and so on, um, and then what you know how I got sitting in the seat where I am now. Um, you know, recording for Mirkwood Recordings, and I got a gear sponsorship from Bone Daddy, uh, you know, and people still think I'm a hack, you know, <laughs> and I kind of am in a lot of ways, but, uh, but, I don't know, I hope, I'm hoping, I'm hoping if I say some, some stuff, uh, it'll explain why it is that way, <laughs> but, um, yeah, part part one of, of, of my harmonica history. Um, I got my first real harmonica at the age of nine years old, and uh, it was. I bought it at the Wolco or or. I can't remember. Is it was either a Zeller's or a Wolco. Um, I'd heard harmonica on the radio. Um, there's actually been scientific study on which instruments you hear the most, like in a song on the radio, and harmonica is the, the number one instrument. So listen next time you hear Love Me Do, or, uh, you know, any song with harmonica in it on the radio, and realize, listen to it and realize how loud and prominent it is. You know, it just, it, it's, it's a well-suited uh, instrument for radio. Um, due to its vibrations and stuff, stuff like that that I don't understand. Um, and oh, also I'm wearing this wicked shirt Hillary sent me a couple of years ago. 
It says, let me butter your biscuit. And on the back, it has her, uh, she used to run a business in New Orleans, uh, like a float painting business. And it's got the logo of, the, of that on the back. I'll try to, I'll try to take a picture of it for the thumbnail or something. But, um, so yeah, thanks Hillary for the cool shirt. Um, so yeah, um, I, you know, anyway, I'd heard harmonica on the radio. I'd heard blues harmonica on the radio, like, uh, like Muddy Waters and Little Walter. I didn't know who they were at the time, but, uh. That's when that's that's when I heard when I heard that like I can't I can't even remember the it might have been I don't know what song it was at all but it had a lot of harm little a lot of little Walter Har harmonica in it little Walter is like the king of the the electric sound you know and uh, it was it was amazing it just blew me away uh, music affected me from a very young age. Um, I lo I've always loved music, you know, and, uh, yeah, so it, 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 I was like, man, like, not, I, not that I was, I'm going to, what I'm saying is probably not what I was thinking at the time, because I had a different, uh, vocabulary at the time, because <laughs> I was nine years old, but, um, you know, I thought like, man, I gotta, I gotta get me one of those instruments, and, uh, you know, so I had like a paper route and got like twenty five cents allowance each week, and this, that, the third, and uh, I saved up my money and uh, got got down to the 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 Woco or the the Woolworths or the Zellers or whatever. It was just a depart a department store. You know, we had a bunch. I don't know what about in the states. Like we had a bunch, like the Bay. The Simpsons, uh, and it's funny because Simpsons was a big old department store. They were kind of like, they were one of the bigger ones, and the logo was ex is almost exactly the same as the Simpsons uh, TV show. <laughs> but um, anyhow, all any any one of these stores had a music department where they sold you know a few crappy kind of guitars and bunch of toy instruments and but they all had an outstanding harmonica display um you know he, they i don't know if they make them anymore but they honer used to have these big like six foot tall uh rotary wrote like uh it was like a lazy susan kind of thing like you roll it around and see what's in it but it's all behind glass glass or plexiglass walls or whatever oh, it's, they were beautiful. I would spend, you know, my mom would throw us off and say like, okay, I'm going to go do my shopping. So meet me, meet me here in an hour or at the front of the store in an hour. Just don't get in trouble. You know, and I just, I would go and gaze at this thing, you know, looking at, looking at all the harmonicas and the differences between them, you know. And I kind of knew what I wanted. And I'm not exactly sure how I knew um, I think I asked the guy at the store, because I, I said, I want to buy a harmonica, um, I want it to sound like, like the blues, you know, and, uh, I, you know, when I was looking at, like, these, like, echo octave tremolo harps, because they looked cool, or, um, you know, all, all of them had this awesome chromatic harmonica that Honer doesn't make anymore, I don't think, called the chromonica, the ten-hole chromonica, and I, I, I always wanted one of these, and now I have a couple of them, but, uh, yeah, they all had this, and I was like, man, I want that one, because it's cool looking, but, and, I, and the guy said, no, you don't want that one, because you want to play blues. So he showed me, like, the Honer line, like, the Marine Band, the Golden Melody, the Blues Harp, and the Special 20. And, uh, or I don't know if Special 20s were were there yet or not. But uh, they had one called the Pro Harp, which was all black, and I thought that was cool. Um, like, black cover plates, satin black cover plates. I thought they were wicked looking. Um... 
but I knew I pretty much knew what I wanted was like a marine band or a blues harp, you know. And the blues harps that they had back then were totally different than the blues harps they have now. Um, now, now the blues harp looks like a big, thick, unwieldy piece of junk, like like this. You know, it's it's. I find it a really clunky harmonica now. And it's well built, and it doesn't sound bad. It's got a nice warm wood body, you know. But the thing about the old style blues harps is they were totally different than this. They were really slim, uh, a little like a little bit smaller, you know, you know, just like a little bit smaller than a marine band. Um, they had clo closed cover plates, um, and they were really, really loose and easy to play and easy, easy, easy to bend on. Like, super easy to bend on, you know. Um, I wish they had them, them back now because they I think they'd be an excellent harmonica for uh, the lessons that I give for my students to have, you know. Um, just because of the bendability. It was amazing. Uh, it practically played itself, you know. Um, yeah, so anyhow, I bought a marine band. I figured that was the best choice, and, uh, you know, I've been in love with marine bands ever since, you know, I play marine band harmonicas every single day, and usually I'm littered, the area I'm around is littered in them, like here's one right now, marine band, this is, this is how they looked back, back when uh, I started buying them, you know, um, I don't know how well you can see the etching, but, uh, that, that stamp on the back, and, uh, and they're just like a, I, you know, I love the sound of these. After trying a whole bunch of different harmonicas, you know, I realized that the, the first one I tried is has the sound I like the best, you know. It's got like, you know, I think it's pear wood, um, a pear wood comb. The only difference between the old ones and the new ones is the new ones have this, oh, this is an old one. Okay, it has a black back. The new ones have branding that says Honer on the, on the back. But, uh, yeah, I bought a marine band because I figured it was what I wanted, you know. It's it's really warm sounding. It has open, open gates there, open cover plate gates. Um, and, yeah, it was great. And so it came in a little wood, little uh, cardboard box. I mean, it was a real old one, I guess, or like one of the old older ones. I wish I still had it. Um, I don't. But, uh, yeah, really cool harmonica. But that was what I started on. And, uh, you know, I it didn't take me until I tried other brands later in my life to realize how much I loved the sound of the Marine Band compared to them. I loved it so much, I got a tattoo of the detail. This is the, the, the etch, etching detail of the ta of the. Where is it? There's a little portrait on here. You can't really see it, but that's that. And I'm I'm planning to get this whole this whole deal done somewhere somewhere else. But uh, yeah. So I love marine bands. Now, so I would just play all the time. Uh, you know, whenever I could, uh, due to my mother's chagrin and. Uh, she hated it. She hated, hated, she was so discouraging of all the music I was trying to do, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, and, uh, so I just honk away on my harmonica, you know, and, uh, there was no, you know, being, you know, so we're in the 80s now, and being a kid, like being a, you know, a, from 10 to, 20 in the 80s, um, in that age demographic, um, I got really, really into the punk rock scene, right, like super into the punk, I'm still super into the punk rock scene, and, uh, they both stayed with me the whole, the whole time, <laughs> you know, and, uh, so, in the, in the punk rock scene, there was really no room for harmonica, 
Like, it, you couldn't really go jam. Hey, I got a harmonica. We went with a band or anything. Um, my friends uh, thought it was funny that I played it and was so into it, you know. I, I, I never even met another harmonica player until I moved to Peterborough um, when I was 20, 21. Uh, I met a guy named Tim O'Daker, and he was the only harmonica, the first harmonica player I'd ever met. And boy, the conversations we had, you know, it was great. But, uh, but yeah, back in the 80s, you know, there was no encouragement. There was no nowhere to get lessons. There was no, uh, there was one book out, like, called, because there was no internet or nothing. Everything you had to do was, you had to learn it either by reading it or talking to somebody or uh, listening to records, you know. I was... I was pretty poor, you know, and, uh, you know, most of my record, my record money went to, uh, punk rock, you know, um, I didn't have a turntable, you know, I couldn't, all the, all the cool, really cool bluesy stuff I wanted at the record store was on vinyl, um, and vinyl died out shortly after that anyway, but, but anyhow, you know, so I would listen to the, the, there was a radio station I listened to called CKLN, and they had a show called the Daddy Cool Blues Hour, and uh, I'd, I'd play along with as much as I could, you know, I got a few different keys of harmonicas, like a, you know, I had a, I, I won't go into that, but I, I, you know, so I'd sit there with my harmonicas and jam along with what I could on the radio show, and, uh, that was basically the only uh, education I had on it. But the whole time, uh, you know, since since I first got a harmonica in 79, um, I've been diligent with it. I practice every day. I've, uh, I've, I've, I really, you know, it's a, it's a, it's not, it's not a hobby or something. It's, it's like it's something deep within me that I gotta do, because I felt it, you know, when I when I was a kid, and uh, and I still feel it today, you know. Um, now, being in the punk rock scene, kind of, you know, it also influenced my the way I play. And the way the sound I'm looking for, you know, a lot of a lot of modern day blues cats, uh, great players, you know, but the you know I'm not really into a lot of the the music I hear. There's a there's a few exceptions for real, but um, you know a lot of the you know effects pedals to the the you know effects pedal boards or whatever and. Uh, you know, all the farty overblows and stuff like that. Like, I'm, that's not really ever what I wanted to do with the harmonica, you know. I wanted to, the music I was, I fell in love with was the music of the 1930s and 40s and you know, stuff like that, you know. Um, or really old electrified blues harmonica, like, uh, you know, like Little Walter, Big Walter Horton, um, you know, Blind Owl Wilson from Canned Heat. Um, I was, I, I've always kind of liked the old school blues because it's more real, you know. And that's what I always try to project in my music is, you know, I, I try to follow old blues traditions, you know, like I'll, I'll take someone's song, I'll, you know, rewrite it a little bit and play it my own style, you know, or... Or I'll just take someone's song and play it in my own style, you know. And my own style isn't, uh, you know, note perfect. It isn't even trying to be note perfect. It isn't trying to have that sweet, clean tone, you know, or uh, sound anything like the original, you know. I try to make it sound as kind of as trashy as possible, <laughs> you know, uh, if I use effects at all. Um, you know, I really enjoy acoustic harmonica playing a great deal, you know, 
uh, the whole time I was in the Silver Hearts, I had a microphone, but I essentially played acoustically. I didn't have my own specified gear, you know. Um, that's all later, though, with Silver Hearts and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I've always been into the the sound, just the sound of the harmonica, unadulterated, you know. And, uh, you know, so now it's been, you know, I'm 49 now. I'll be, I'll be 50 in September, so... I've been playing the harmonica for a few minutes, <laughs> at least, you know. But um, the next video, I'll tell you, you know, after after being a, a preteen to a twenty year old, I'll tell you what I did. I did afterwards with with all that knowledge that I had somehow, through diligence and perseverance, managed to make some sense of. <laughs> so. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I told you it's already over 20 minutes. Um, it's a long story. I hope people are interested. I don't know. I've talked about this stuff before, but I, I, I felt driven to get pretty in-depth. But, uh, yeah. So, anyhow, thanks for watching this video. If you did, please, if you're inclined, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> tell me who you are in the comments. I don't get notified for all my subscriptions. Um, I don't know what it takes to get notified, but suit and tie, dip and chew guy knows all that stuff. But I, I don't know it. Um, so, yeah, just if, if you care to hit the buttons and, and subscribe. And I do have a PayPal app option if you care to donate to the channel here. So I can improve it a bit and uh, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, be well, everybody. Have a great morning. I'll, I'll be back at you later with something. And more harmonica tales tomorrow. Bye now.